They say it's hard, you know, bringing kids up is difficult. They say kids these days are influenced by these new hyper-violent computer games. And that's nuts, isn't it? If we've been influenced by the computer games from our childhood, we'd have to go around going like, beep. <laughs> beep. <laughs> beep. <laughs> beep. <laughs> rubbish, wouldn't it? No one would play with that kid with <laughs> beep, beep. Can I be in your gang? No, you're a bit weird, mate, to be honest. <laughs> Imagine being influenced by Pac-Man. <laughs> You'd have to like, walk around in a darkened room munching pills and listening to repetitive music. <laughs> so the younger people laughing and clapping, the older ones going, who is this Pac-Man you speak of? <laughs> not one of the rough boys from the estate, is he? <laughs> there were some rough kids where I live. And they're not being rough, they're just being confusing. You know, you come out of your house and go, yeah, your mum makes gravy for leopards, innit? <laughs> yes, yes, I believe she does. <laughs> she does a lot of charity work. <laughs> these are scary kids. Even the dirty old men are scared of these kids. See them turn up in their car, put the window down, like, hello, little boy, do you want a sweet? The kid's like, what sort of sweets have you got? So it'd be good if you come on here and trouble me with your sweetie talk, right? <laughs> you want none of your mojo or drumstick rubbish, you get me? <laughs> you must have a serious sweetie offer for me, boy. <laughs> Blokes panic, I say, well, I've got bonbons. I, I, I wasn't sure what to bring, to be honest. Dib dab there, and wham bar. Wham bar, your sweets are rubbish, man, shut up. <laughs> no. Wham bars used to be big like that, now they're small, innit? So you're gonna have to do better than a wham bar if you wanna see my dick, right? <laughs> Nah, man, look at your car driving a saw, you got no pride. <laughs> Get out, you wambar bitch. <laughs> Next pervert, please. <laughs> what kind of sweets have you got, sweaty? <laughs> what do you mean, Neverland? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we live in exciting times anyway, you know. It's very exciting being in London, you know. The Olympics. <laughs> Fantastic. We didn't really want the Olympics. Till we heard France might get it. <laughs> British people are like, oh no, all that running and jumping. <laughs> it's not really for us, is it? <laughs> when is it? No, I'm busy that week. <laughs> what? France are gonna get it, bollocks will have it. <laughs> Only in London will we have to have a poster campaign saying, back the bid. No, fuck off, it'll be rubbish. <laughs> That's a bizarre response to that question. Like, would you like the oldest, most historically significant athletic competition the world has ever known, attracting athletes from every known nation on the face of the planet to come here and perform at the peak of their abilities in the very city where you live? Most British people go, where will we park? <laughs> you know, because it's all residents round here. <laughs> There's others going, no, man, the tubes will be packed, you get me? People getting on the underground with, like, javelins and shit. <laughs> no. Coming and escalate with a shot put health and safety, boy. <laughs> and there's a whole other section of British society going, you what? The Olympics. Let a load of foreigners in. Huh? <laughs> Once you can run and jump and swim, you let them in, you'll never fucking catch them. <laughs> huh? Supposed to be overrun with like refugees. You're having a laugh, aren't you, mate? They peel them little numbers off their jackets. You watch them, they're sneaky. I read about it in the mail. 